Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTT5. Let's continue with the updated NALPS series. A series where I'm going to do all the maps in Impopable without using offensive special agents, lap upgrades, special buildings and premiums, in particular double cash, healthy bananas and bigger beacons. Uh, so let's continue with the expert maps and uh, and now it's going to be a map that is going to be pretty similar to the last two. So Treetop, uh, very very similar to uh, Death Valley even though it's going to be slightly easier. So the gameplay and the strategy itself is going to be uh, almost equal. So uh, I'm going to try go uh, a bit faster. Uh, in this gameplay so that the video is not going to be that long and in that way it's going to be more enjoyable um, so yeah so in this case uh, pretty much as um, Death Valley uh, two main paths uh, completely separated from each other but they're going to get close to one another uh, in the center and uh, again here one of the two paths is going to be more difficult than the other one uh, in particular the bottom path is going to be uh, more difficult because uh, the balloons are going to pass beneath the the bridge and therefore they're going to be hidden so there's going to be um, a certain amount of time where you're not going to be able to pop the balloons because of that because they're gonna stay uh, under the bridge. So I'm gonna just place one dark monkey for the bottom path in strong, so that is gonna start uh, popping the stronger blooms, the layers, the external layers. Um, and actually here, yeah, I think sniper. And that's it. So with this setup, I uh, should be able to survive enough rounds to uh, be able to get the Engineer 1-0, getting the Sentry Guns, and then afterwards um, it should be uh, easier to start stacking the cash so that uh, you can start getting the farms placed. So the strategy is, again, as I said, is going to be almost equal to the one that I've used for the last two uh, maps, so Drug Trip and Death Valley. So just starting with an engineer, getting the 1-0 engineer, then getting some Dark Monkeys, uh, where you need to a bit more of damage, and then getting a sniper that has unlimited range and as well can target and can slow down, especially like the strongest stronger blooms like the yellows or the pinks and after you place enough defenses uh, that is where you start uh, like cashing in to place the, the the farms and as well that is where you need to start being more careful about the rounds okay so here I think should be able to get it uh, around here so that's one actually I'm gonna wait to place the the farmer because I wanna uh, first be sure that I can place two farms there correctly and from now on is just being able to defend uh, the main problem is uh, early game when you're using this kind of setups or strategies involving farms many times uh, oops okay many times the main problem is that uh, all the cash that you're using to get the farms you don't get it right away back so there are a lot of rounds where you are a lot weaker okay than uh, what you normally would be if you would just uh, get towers placed and upgraded so that's why i'm gonna get uh, the two zero engineer that is gonna allow me to spam more sentry guns more sentry guns mere more popping power so less probability oh come on 
just one red pass there. So more sentry guns should mean less probability uh, having balloons passing. And ultimately that means um, less cash used for raw specs. And that's it. So, okay, that's the second farm. And I'm going to get a farmer right here, I think. Boom. That should be it. Um, so now no more problem collecting the bananas. And as well, the farmer is going to help a little bit the top path. So that's not bad at all. And now just getting here. Okay, the the sniper one zero so that it can pop the stronger balloons to weaker layers. And now the the camo in the top side just placing raw specs for that. And after this, I think it's important to start placing some glue gunners. But it's important as well, placing these glue gunners so that the bottom glue gunner glues only the bottom path and the top glue gunner is going to glue only the top path. If you place a glue gunner like right here, it's going to target both paths and that means that it's going to glue less efficiently. So I'm going to place, place these glue gunners like here, the first one. Um, and then the top one as well in a position so that these glue gunners can target just one path at a time and in that way they're going to be more efficient and uh, that's that's it the main problem though is as you can see that the the glue gunner if the balloons are too fast it's not going to be able to glue them so that's the only downside uh, but other than that it should be good oops Oops, uh, I wasn't fast enough with the raw specs and the bloom passed. Uh, not a big deal, just exiting the app and re-entering it again. If you're not fast enough, one, placing raw specs, or two, clicking the home button and exiting the game and restarting it, uh, you're going to have to do this, so exit the app and uh, restart the game. That what happens is when you are not fast enough with the fingers to like react and pause the game. But yeah, uh, whatever. It happens. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. Just one rat. And here, of course, in this round 27, a lot of balloons actually are going to pass. So, uh, especially for the first, like, yellows. So, uh, yeah, just prepare some raw specs beforehand. And that should be it. Round 28, no problem because of the glue gunners and as well because of the sniper. And I want to just place the last farm. Um, oh, but I actually can't because there are a lot of sentry guns in the way. So I'm going to just wait here. And sell some rosp some sentry guns. And placing a farm that should be good around uh, here. In range of the farmer, of course. But that's it. Okay, let's see if the glue um can help here yeah and just because of round 33 and the fact that uh the bottom path is harder than the top path i'm gonna place as well a spec factory for the bottom path so that now i can relax a little bit uh i can go faster but i can look just the top path and i can focus more on that and as well here for these camos, just four sets of raw specs in the top path should clean all the yellows. So, boom.
and here just being careful here as you can see about the top path so even if the farmer is helping more the top path even if uh, it's just good to just remember uh, to guard more the top path because that is where you don't have a spike factory so that is where most of the blooms are gonna sneak through I have some prospects still yeah okay so for round 35 here I'm gonna just um, upgrade here the bottom that monkey one three so now this that monkey is gonna start doing a lot more of damage than uh, what it was doing before so that is gonna be as well a lot of damage a lot of piercing going on um okay cool oh i forgot to upgrade this farm or oh, really one zero i didn't upgrade that farm one zero okay well my bad and here careful especially about the end of this round a lot of pings together and normally you can deal with all of them But yeah, that should be all the farms to zero, pretty much. And here just the whites, just uh, preparing some respects for the top path again. It's the only path where you don't have a spec factory, so. And then here, um, removing this that monkey. And placing a pretty nice blue shipper here. So again, this Brun Shipper is going to be in range of both paths and it's going to help um, not letting the balloons pass or like keeping the balloons. Okay, here's some, some balloons sneaking through, actually a lot of them. So I'm going to be careful here, just placing some raw specs. But it's a lot better to like place more raw specs but having all the farms already upgraded uh, because uh, in that way you're gonna start building cash even if it seems that using raw specs is bad but actually at the end of the day it helps a lot uh, and of course the blue cheaper getting it um, to zero so that in that way, even if you can't pop or you can't glue all the leads, the Brun Shipper is going to be able to finish them off. Okay, here's just the top path. And as you can see, I'm all able almost every time to pop, uh, to glue the balloons, like right away in the beginning of the map. But yeah, so now without losing any more time, um, very important placing the village. This village, and I've placed these farms in this way because, in that way, see now this village right here. Uh, let's see, you have to place it like the closer you can to the top side. Um, but this village is going to be the key to victory because this village is going to not only power up the towers and it's going to reduce the cost of the upgrades but as well as going to have all the farms in range and having all the farms in range means uh, again um, less uh, spending less cash for the upgrades so uh, that's why i've placed the farms in this particular position in that way the village covers all three of them and uh and yeah that's that's great now just adding a ninja here to have some greater uh damage some slightly more damage going on uh, just three one i think here should be enough
and here should be one of those runs where you can afford one farm 3-0 and now here for this round very important a uh, saving some cash for these camos in the top side so just destroy a bit the 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 rainbow layer and that's it because uh this is the last round the last camo round in a while so uh, in that way you should be able to uh, do everything okay yeah that should be it and now from our on is just upgrading this brune shipper uh 4-2 for round 46 for the mob here just remember the top side you don't have a spike factory there okay and uh and that's it so now the next hard round is gonna be round 47 because round 46 having just one room cheaper for two is more than enough so I recommend for this round uh, trying to place like one room cheaper more uh, whenever you have enough room I think there is enough room somewhere here in range of the village of course so remember always place the towers in range of the village so just one room cheaper right there and I'm gonna get as well the the ninja for two and very important getting here the uh, well first of all some rospects in top and bot path because of the camos not only the ceramics are a problem here but the camos as well the pink camos uh, but it's just pinks so uh, just a few rospects plus the a ninja damage should be enough and as well get the village zero one and uh, that should be it for this for round 47 round 48 is uh, easy and I'm gonna just get here this blue shipper uh, zero two so that uh, it has a greater range and as well it can uh, pop the blooms faster And then from 49, unfortunately, I will not be able to place any more boon shippers here because uh, there is just no room to place it for the villages in range of the villages. But it doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be helpful anyway. So one more boon shipper right there. And on top of that, uh, getting a bomb here. Three, two so now also some area damage that is gonna help as well and that should be around 49 another farm three zero just one rune cheaper uh, it's enough one blue cheaper for two is enough for the amount of mobs that are gonna come out in these rounds so don't worry about that and here just looking at the cash uh 5.3 2.6 uh it's uh almost 8k right so it's not enough but if i saw the sniper it should become enough so boom the factory around 51 the earlier you can get the factory, the better it is. And uh, oops, actually here, I just uh, went too fast and I couldn't place Rospex. But um, the fact that you're selling the sniper doesn't change a lot the damage output of all the towers. So don't worry about that. So let's do it again. But this time I'm going to just leave it... Um, I'm gonna go slower 
actually I'm gonna just upgrade this Prune Chipper Zero to just uh, just in case to have some extra damage against these regrowths. And let's place here already some uh, raw specs here for the regrowths especially. And that should be it. Okay, nice. So I don't care if I need to use raw specs, uh, but I prefer getting this factory as early as I can because that is gonna like help me a lot. So uh, just getting now here the village to one so that every tower uh, attacks faster. And I'm gonna start getting this second Brune Chipper for round 54. Another Brune Chipper for two. Boom. That's it. And then here behind the ninja, I'm gonna start getting my usual boomerang uh, 30 that is gonna have all the boomerangs bounce between the balloons and because of the balloons are um, concentrated by the balloon shippers it's gonna be particularly efficient and afterwards this thing here uh, I'm gonna just build again the the farms of course there are a lot of centricons here in the way but shouldn't be a problem getting as well the village to two just in case you never know uh, the bomb for two so that now I have also a stun that is gonna um, control a bit their blooms as well. One farm three zero. I'm gonna most likely get another one three zero. Yeah. And because of the fact that this third bloom cheaper is outside the range of the village, uh, it's not uh, the best way to. The best thing is not upgrading it, but selling the the engineer using the room that the engineer was taking to place another brun cheaper. That this time this brun cheaper is in range of the village, and using as well a bit of room to place a nice tower. Uh, and this ice tower, of course, is gonna go uh, three two. And therefore, uh, even more control, more CC to the balloons so that they can't sneak through my defenses. And, uh, and yeah. So here's strong. Another balloon cheaper uh, for two. And from now on is where the gameplay becomes... Uh, faster because of the fact that having already a 3 to ice tower having already the basic uh, defending towers placed there isn't really uh, a way to lose other than having mob class balloons sneaking through so that's the only way that you can lose you can't have any more like balloons leaking so uh, the main goal here is trying to get the the factories, the other two factories, as fast as you can. So that's one, and I'm gonna start building now the third one. And then just building balloon cheapers because the only problem is gonna be being able to pop the balloons fast enough. Three balloon cheapers for all these mobs should be enough. So no worries. So I'm going to get the village uh, three, two, three, and I'm going to see now if I can place a Brune Shipper in range of this village. Yeah, now see that the village has greater range, so I can get a Brune Shipper here, and I should be able to get another one here. Okay, cool. Nice. 
nice. And just getting uh, one more Boon Chipper for this round. And as well now with the 2-3 village, all my towers can pop all kinds of uh, balloons. So there are any more weaknesses going on. So just getting fast through the rounds. Um, let's see if I can get here uh, the third factory pretty fast as well. Here we go. And I'm going to try keep these three factories as long as I can uh, so that I can get uh, a lot of cash. And in that way, I will be able to get more towers, get more upgrades, and uh, being able to do what I need to do. Even if uh, this ice tower right here is going to be out of range of the village, I don't care. I'm going to just place one. I start with two, three right there uh, because I see a lot of balloons like grouping here and uh, why not? Let's get a nice tower. Maybe I'm going to be able to get some extra shards proc, extra damage. gonna go as normally with uh, an ace right here in very very close to the end of the map to have some a heavy damage tower that is gonna uh, pop the balloons with unlimited range but on top of that um, is gonna uh, destroy the ceramics very fast so it's not gonna let them stack after the map class balloons uh, are popped and uh, yeah so unfortunately even uh, like upgrading the range of this village I cannot really get a lot more of balloon shippers other than maybe like two more so uh, I'm gonna most likely gonna need another village place right here so that I can get more balloon shippers But as you can see, the strategy is like always the same. Uh, the most difficult part is like the first half of the game where uh, by using the cash to upgrade and to get the farms, you actually uh, are in a deficit of damage. So you lack a lot of damage. And therefore, uh, you may need a lot of raw specs early or uh, you may even lose sometimes. But other than that, uh, later on the farms start uh, to be to pay off. And then uh, you start having all the cash that you want to get uh, the towers and the, the damage that you need. So I saw a Bloom Cheaper there because I wanted to place uh, a nice tower here, but I can't. Wait, what? Okay, here we go. Another 2 3 tower right there to add again some procs with the shorts, some extra damage. Uh, let's see, can I get one more Bloom Cheaper here in range of the village? Uh, I think I cannot. But as you can see, I'm, I'm stacking the cash a lot, like 50 going with the 460k cash, around 79, so not bad. That's why you need a lot of balloon chippers, because the only problem is like mobs sneaking through. And how many boon shippers do I have? Uh, I don't really know. 
but yeah this is round 81 so next round 82 is gonna be even more bfps and i can already tell here that a bunch of mobs are like stacking up and uh yeah that's not good so what i'm gonna do instead i'm gonna just place a village here two three and i'm gonna build a uh, a bunch more of shippers just to have to stop the balloons as well earlier and to start damaging them earlier uh, and as well I'm gonna sell this factory right now so that first of all I can get a heli here locking in place and yeah that heli should do a lot of damage and as well getting some damage with some uh, the super monkeys here remember that the balloon shippers are just bringing the balloons close to the towers so I don't really need to have every single tower in range of the of the paths because the balloon shippers are gonna just bring the balloons towards the center yeah, as you can see right now uh, I'm popping this BFBs a lot faster And still keeping two factories here to have some extra income uh, for round 83 and 84 and then preparing the maximum defenses for round 85 for the five domagats and as you can see the glue gunners even in this stage of the game that is pretty advanced uh, if the glue gunners find something that they can glue uh, like a ceramic or whatever they're gonna do their job and as well the glue uh, in this kind of gameplays it's useful for like slowing the balloons other than not for popping the balloons but for slowing them and that's it so that's the end of round 84 done pretty well so selling the last two factories using the extra room now created by selling the factories to place uh, just a bunch of blue shippers more. I don't want to place like a ton of them, but just like four more. And uh, using the left cache to get some towers. So like one robot monkey and that's it. And I have as well the village 2-4. I have the activated ability that I can use and that's that's pretty much it uh there is no way that with all these blue shippers and all the rest of the towers uh i cannot finish off the the zombie gods so waiting for the for the layers to pop then activating the village ability and as you can see i'm just racking these zombie gods and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and see ya bye bye